So here's the outside of art and science. You could see the whole city in the background. So we're gonna go inside now. And this is one of the owners of Art and Science, Paul Wilson. Hi, Paul. How are you? How is everyone? So, could you just show us around, first the front Indeed. of this beautiful space? Indeed. Indeed. Again, my name is Paul Wilson, co-owner of Art and Science. This is our West Loop location. Uh, it's about six months old. Um, you're standing in the entryway um, where we've got um, our retail area focusing on Bumble and Bumble, American Crew. Shimomura, and then in the corner we've got color proof. Which is going to be our featured brand over here. The retail space with the natural lighting, it just looks incredible. Oh, thank you. So I saw that you were one of the designers behind the space. Indeed. Could you tell me how that process worked and how you collaborated with the other designers? Certainly. So I've got a great friend that happens to be. Um, in interiors, um, Carrie Sabina. So she was very helpful, just in terms of bouncing ideas off of um, off of her in terms of materials, uh, mixing materials and colors, and and kind of coming up with a concept. But as a salon, we've done this so many times now. This is our fourth um, big salon that we've done, and we also have the barber shop in Logan Square. So we kind of, you know, just by trial and error, kind of learned a lot about what what we want to happen in the space with the design. So that, that was a big part of it. But Carrie was really great to work with. Kathy Minahan is my, my wife and she's got an unbelievable eye. She's in uh, real estate, so she's she's got a, a great eye for interiors. Um, so they were both very, very helpful, fun to work with. Yeah, so I guess for this front area, like who picked out the whole color scheme with this art and so, these yeah, light pictures? So my partner David Raculia has an incredible art collection. Um, this, this being one of his pieces, this is an Alexandra Uber um, this piece here, um, so he let us use it. That we, um, you know, Kathy and I uh, really wanted to bring copper into the into the mix here, mm -hmm. kind of you know like a lighter metal. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of a little bit more of an industrial um, feel in some of the other spaces. We want to lighten it up this time, so the copper really helped us do that. Um, and then uh, you know we wanted kind of a, a mid-century meets modern kind of feeling to mm -hmm. it. And, uh, and then obviously the, the purple wall kind of added a little bit of depth to the room. Totally. And kind of richened it up. And um, then over here, could you Certainly. Tell so us that, this kind of leads us into uh, where Nikki is standing. Nikki's one of our barbers. This is the, the barber area. So he's a men's specialist. So we just do men's hair in this corner. Mm -hmm. They're outstanding. I mean, incredibly talented. And, uh, of course, with the American crew, with, you know, with us starting our crew, men's hair has been a big part of our our culture, so so this is this is kind of punctuating that, that whole philosophy. Yeah. So the stylists here are they um, trained barbers or they are. So we we do have some barbers. Okay. Um, and if they're not barbers, they're they're just focused on men's hair exclusively, going mm -hmm. through the master men's grooming with crew and having all that background education. Okay. And I love the art on the wall too. Oh, yeah. That was, the that inspiration. Was a, that was a shot we did of Jimmy Nichols. He's a, he's an Aust a famous Australian surfer that had, just happens to have like the best beard in the world. Yeah. So he was fun Seriously. to work with. Yeah. Yeah. All the guys sitting here are going to be jealous that uh, they don't indeed. have that beard. <laughs> indeed. Okay, so let's go into yeah. this room. Yeah. This is, um, so this is the main cutting room. All right, so we have, uh, we're a departmentalized salon, so all of the, the cutting happens on, the, on this floor, aside from obviously with the barber shop. But we also do men's hair in here, but the people, the stylists who are working in here do men's and women's hair. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, this is this is this room is uh, generally pretty action packed. We also have the addition of uh, uh, Ray does. She's our esthetician, so she has a, a mobile set up here. Okay. And then when we go upstairs, I can show you her more permanent room. But this is where she does her, you know, she does um, a, a lash lift, her uh, eyelash and eyebrow tinting. Okay. Um, yeah, some of her some of her threading. So she anything that she can do, kind of sit, sitting and do easily and quickly, kind of a, an express service. She usually does that here. Okay. It's kind of nice to incorporate into the room because people it gets people interested in it. Yeah, totally. And yeah. could you tell us a little bit about the ceiling? Because I read about it. For sure. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we wanted to obviously go up as much as we could just to kind of create a little more space, but we also took the opportunity to um, kind of you know get an anaglyphic wallpaper and bring some of the copper that I was mentioning earlier into the scenario. So that's that's kind of how we did that. 
and um, we really like the, the, you know, these, these, this light, this really soft and light uh, globes that kind of set it off and reflect it up off the copper and, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, and then we, you know, we took sort of a, a mid-century piece uh, that we liked as a console and kind of used that as the template for the cutting station. So that's, that's what we've got, and it's nice because everything uh, folds into those tilted drawers so we can kind of keep the spaces a little cleaner. Right, and who did you work with for the furniture? Uh, it was a, a John Fricano is, is, the, is the gentleman that's, uh, that built out all of these pieces, including um, these island pieces, which are basically like a product credenza, awesome. which has been fantastic. Yeah. So you're trying to chase products around. This way we can actually curate the products we're using for and bring it over, use on them, and you, you know where everything is. It's, it, are the stylists it's such good about a, oh, returning yeah, is, it back to the Yeah, island? they're excellent about it. And awesome. Yeah, it's just, it just helps us keep everything organized and neat. And, and, it's such a yeah, good idea. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why it took us so long to figure it yeah. out. Yeah. Okay, so let's head back this way. Okay. And then while it's a little quieter back here, could you just tell people who may not be familiar with Chicago or live in the area, like why is it such a big deal that you're in West Loop right now and does the foot traffic that walks past your salon with these big open windows, how does that impact your space? Uh, well, so we've, we've sort of learned over time that, I, I mean, I think that the draw so art and science I mean even though we're a, a well-known name in Chicago it, it doesn't scream salon so there's still I mean there's so many people that live in this town that unless they actually see what we do mm -hmm. there are a little some of them are, don't know what we do so it's it, that has been helpful we, we found at Wicker Park um, and our new Evanston space and now this one and the barbershop that you know having having uh, the what we do happening right in front of the window has been really helpful. And these, this is probably the most prominent space that we have. And those windows are right up against the sidewalk and the street. Mm -hmm. So anybody that's walking or driving by can see exactly what's going on in here. So that's been that's been big. And yeah. then obviously the West Loop is, this neighborhood's just kind of in, in an unbelievable sort of... I feel like you guys couldn't have opened at a better time. No. But everything's being built back right. more this way right. too, further right. west. Right. So. This felt like we were off the beaten path when we first started working on it mm -hmm. already. I mean, you know, buildings are being torn down. Right, I mean, all McDonald's is going McDonald's on, is retail, more yep. retail is going on. Yep. So yep. you got in yep. the right place for yep. right time. All these cool boutique hotels are coming in. It's going to be great. Yep, Nobu. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's very cool. Okay, so let's go back to the back part. Okay. <laughs> so this is obviously all color area here. Shampoo bowls, color application all happens right here in this room. Mm -hmm. uh, we also kind of pick up, kind of go up in the ceiling a little bit here. Uh, we love we love this kind of brick wall that runs and the whole space. So we're just kind of having all of our color processing happening on this wall. Mm -hmm. So, um, what color lines do you use, and then what we, styling lines? Uh, so. We're kind of in an unusual situation. We're, we're Revlon Professional is our core color line, um, and it's not officially launched and distributed here in the U.S. So we're kind of getting it through our previous relationships with you know. So Revlon we're, uh, owns American Crew now, so we've been working with uh, you know the Revlon folks for a long time. So yeah, that we're we're hoping that that brand launches in the U.S. But we, we've had it for years. It's phenomenal. That's so, awesome. Yeah, and then the color proof supports it. Mm -hmm. um, actually, all of our lines, Bumble and Bumble, um, and Shumora, have great color support as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah. cool. And so, let's take a look at this. Yeah. So the shampoo area, we we so we, Kathy and I did this at home. We had this back painted glass, mm -hmm. um, this tempered glass, and it's 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 just great. It's just been a nice way to kind of add some color and some pop and some depth to the, to yeah. the shampoo the whole area. Just, just you know, kind of make it look a little more interesting. So. So we can kind of feature the brands and kind of see, see what we're using. Right. Um, the towel bar works really well. Yeah. And over here, there's a few more Alexander uh, pieces that David. Um, yeah, I love, I love how you worked all these different sort of pieces together to make this really interesting contrast. Yeah. But it works. <laughs> And then our color mixing area is is, is here, and, the, and this, is, this is obviously where we do, you know, it, 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 all of our color mixing happens right in here. It's, it's nice. It's, we're able to keep, keep it clean. We've got a dishwasher, and um, you know, every, everything just set it up so it's really easy. Mm -hmm. And not too far from the color area. Indeed. Yeah. And then this way, we just have like a, an iPad Pro that, that allows people to kind of 
pay attention to their schedules and, and yeah. kind of check in on things and client history, all of that. So, what software do you use here? Uh, we have a Salon Transcript STX. Okay. Currently. Okay. Yep. So we've been using that for years. Awesome. Should we go upstairs? Yes. Okay. Let's go. I'm really excited about this area. So obviously, um, being an education-based company, uh, our you know we want to take the opportunity with this space to bring um, an academy. Uh, add that to kind of what we do because we, we have an in-house uh, method of teaching our, uh, our young apprentices mm -hmm. um, and uh, we wanted to kind of broaden that and create an opportunity where we could teach the hairdressing community at large so this space is going to give us the opportunity to do that so um, yeah we've got uh, this is our official academy space number one and then also this is um, you know, this is where Ray does all the things that she doesn't do in the mobile setup that's downstairs. This is this is her room. She does a spray tan. Um, she's got a, a, a waxing bed in there as well. She can. She can uh, so Ray is your primary. Yeah, assistant. she's a, she's our exclusive assistant. Okay. She, she does it all, so she's amazing. So I bet she's busy. <laughs> she's very busy. Yes, yeah. It's been really cool to see her build her business yeah. as we established all of this. Yeah. Okay. We don't have that. That's not a typical. We've mostly just been a hair salon, so. Do the other art and science locations have? You know, we have a little waxing room that we haven't really kind of brought to, you know, it's, 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 we've used it, but it, it hasn't sort of been a big part of the business. Mm -hmm. I mean, Ray's sort of taken this and running with it, so it's been really, wow. really amazing. Yep. That's great for her. So, so up here, so for any color education, we obviously have a great, great color mixing area up here. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got this academy space, which is it's we beautiful. Can, yeah, so this is, you know, um, this was meant to kind of be the color side for education. It, it also serves as the, be the best open space in the salon. Mm -hmm. um, like if you're doing any kind of presentation, this, this space works brilliantly for that. So how often do you have classes here? Uh, so, you know, this, we've just been doing a little bit of in-house. American Crew just launched um, their academy this past weekend. So for the, the, the for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, they were they were up here and it was action packed. It was great. It oh was really gosh. nice to see. So, so you're inviting other stylists from other salons yes, into yes, the space. Yeah, yeah. And so we had stylists from all over the country that were attending that, as well as a couple cool. some of the people in, in our own staff that, that jumped in on that. So they had they were doing presentation on this side in demo on mm -hmm. this side. Um, and it worked. It worked well. And they were using this, the whiteboard to, to, you know, to do um, head sheets and diagrams. Mm -hmm. It was fantastic. Um, and then over here, this was sort of meant to be the American Crew kind of cutting academy. So this this is kind of the cutting room um, that we're using for education. So this is this is where they were doing all of their hands-on work for the Crew Academy. Wow. So you could have classes here while the salon's open. Absolutely. Which is. Yeah. I feel like yeah. that's a rarity. Which, which we did, yeah. So yesterday we were open for business on the first floor and then running the academy up here mm -hmm. during the day. And so. so how many how many classes like that, like for American Crew, are you going to plan on having? So I think the, the I think there's seven classes scheduled for the rest of the year. Okay. So, you know, some of them are two days, Sunday, Monday, and some of them are, are three days. Sunday, okay. Monday, Tuesday. And does usually a Chicago-based stylist teach the class or is it an educator? Uh, it's from not. It's, it's one of the all-star educators or, or, or a team of the all-stars that come in and teach it depending on how many students there are. So there were, I believe there were 11. Mm -hmm. So we had two educators here, um, Janelle Ide and Helen Feeney. Um, Helen's he, outside of Chicago and Janelle came in from Denver to teach it. Oh wow. So, yeah. Very cool. cool. Do you know if there's other American crew like academies This is the, This is the, this is the American crew academy for the U.S. now. Yeah, wow. it was in Denver, but yeah, this is congratulations. Yeah, we're the That's official amazing host for all American crew education now. Wow, I had no idea. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Okay. So, do you want to sign us off for now? Indeed. Yeah, I was. I I am just so honored and excited that that we were able to, um, you know, be featured in the magazine and be a salon of distinction. It was it was really cool to sort of have us work so hard to bring it to life and then then have you guys uh you know get, let us grace the uh the issue so so thank you very much for i'm i'm happy to give you guys a tour and we'd love to see everybody come by thank you paul thank you